So we left off here in the previous video as you can see when we bring any changes it is not affecting here. Uh, how should we solve this? If I go to the um, code here as you can see we directly put the codes here but the correct way or the angular way is to use the inner HTML directive. Now here inside the inner HTML you can write all your code. Now I can just take all of the code here and move it inside the inner HTML. I save it and let's refresh our page and see if it is working. As you can see if I change the direction now it is going to affect the bottom. Again we can change the color and the next color bring any other changes. As you can see it is going to affect there. And there is another problem. Where, where are the syntax highlighting? The color for this one. If I refresh the page so far it is just fine. If I bring any changes it is going to disappear. So the problem is here. If I refresh the page and again an inspect element let us see what is happening when they give a color for the syntax highlighting. If I select the background here, as you can see we have a span here and this token property, we have token punctuation, we have function, then we have another punctuation. This is the class that our syntax highlighting, the JavaScript, the prism is going to add for this one. So we should have this. But if I bring any changes, it will repopulate all the data and this will be gone. It is not going to work again. Uh, for, for instance, if I just change the color to something like blue and let's come here. As you can see, it will show only the, the CSS code here. So the solution, there are not much solution, but I can fix it. Like if I refresh the page again, so we can, the only solution is to add their class by default in our inner HTML code. Like this, if I come down here, select this. Okay, why it is not opening it? Showing nothing. Let me refresh again. To see the code. Yeah, now we have the code. Now what I can do is just right click here going to the copy and we will copy the HTML only here if I copy the L no okay we will copy the element so we have the element code here if I come under the code and paste it it will be something like this so I will just clean it up a little like these are extra we don't need them we only need the language for CSS then we should have the token property and all sorts of stuff like that now it is going to be inside this one again it is not going to work if we put directly here what I'm going to do is, this way it will take a lot of time, you know, to just clean up everything. But I'll pause the video and I'll show you what I have done. So let us do it together. It will be real quick. First of all, we remove the above code because we don't need that. Next thing, as you can see, the quotation here. We should uh, put all of this code in inner HTML firstly. And now when you put the code, as you can see, the inner HTML, it has double quotation here. It is starting here and it will finish here. So what I want to do is replace all of this quotation with single quotation, the one we have used inside the inner HTML. So I will select it. I will press Ctrl D to select all of those. This is the shortcut in Visual Studio Code. If yours is different, maybe I have modified it in the past. So I can select everything, press Delete and then I can use the single one. Then we have our values here, like to the right, as you can see. This should be dynamic. Again, I will select four of them and say this one should be equal to this dot direction. The color red is the first color, of course, and this one should be this dot color one. And finally, the blue one, select them, and this one should be this dot color two. If I save it this time and let's refresh our page as you can see it is showing here so if I bring any changes like direction yes it is affecting and we have our style as well and the same way if you change the color if you bring the opacity down 
everything is working just fine that is this much easy so i hope it has been informative so far and in the next video we'll continue working on the box shadow and you will learn a lot of techniques there also feel free to skip that if you think you have done something well so far but i recommend you to do practical things because uh, not only watching the video will not make anything so see you in the next chapter